Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we're going to be doing a quick review on the Raspberry Pi Zero. Now, I managed to get a couple of these, that's why I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video. So if you want to skip forward to the end, you can do that. But without further ado, let's get started. So guys, the most amazing thing about these Raspberry Pi 2s is its form factor and its price. Being that it's only $5, it's also half the size of a Raspberry Pi 2 and a comparable size to the Intel Edison. Now, they did strip away a lot of the stuff. They don't have the Ethernet port or uh, the pin layouts. They took those out. So if you need to do projects with those pins, you're going to have to solder your own stuff. But on the bottom, you're going to see that they kept the USB and um, they slapped in a USB, micro USB, so you could you need a USB on the go cable. They have the other USB for the power and a mini uh, HDMI port. Now they kept with the uh, micro SD card, but they did strip out the little springy thing. So when you stick in the SD card, it doesn't spring back like the other ones do. Also, uh, if you notice on the back, laid out all the pins differently where you could solder stuff onto them. So if you didn't want to use the on the go cable, you could actually uh, just solder directly to the little pins like P22 and P23 and have the USB going that way too. See, in my opinion, you're going to be paying more money to get the same functions that you would on a Raspberry Pi 2. Meaning like you're going to have to purchase a USB on the go cable just to get the USB port going and have connectivity, USB connectivity. Uh, if you don't have it on hand, you're also going to need to buy a mini uh, HDMI to a regular HDMI port. So that's going to run you like 10, 15 bucks. You're also going to need an SD card. Uh, I would highly recommend getting a case for this because it's there's nothing on top that kind of defends against the chip getting hit. So if you're leaving a backpack or somewhere, you might knock off these uh, resistors or something like that. Another thing that you would have to purchase after you get the on-the-go cable, you would still have to get some sort of connectivity like uh, Ethernet, USB to e uh, Ethernet or USB Wi-Fi. So you're spending more so around the $30 mark or $35 mark just to get a single core gigahertz versus if you're going to do a more of a desktop application for a Raspberry Pi 2. Uh, if you're geared towards more robotics or uh, putting this on a drone, then yes, this is definitely the price to go or the way to go because it's only five dollars you don't mind spending that five dollars getting this chip and throwing it and, and using it whatever that's why I, ha I have some concerns when i use my raspberry pi 2 if it's just a simple one function thing and i'm spending 35 dollars on that then the, the the stuff that i gotta add on to it i'm spending a lot of money just for this little project is it worth it but with these raspberry pis uh the zeros i could buy a couple of these throw them in and i, I don't have to worry being that it's a little bit faster than the raspberry pi b you could run all the applications that you ran with those on here, like uh, Kodi. If you see my video on how to install Kodi on Raspberry Pi 2, you could run that same application on these little guys, stick it on the back of the TV, get that going. You could run uh, little server applications on here, uh, stuff that doesn't require immense amount of uh, desktop computing. Th these things work great. I mean, if you're gonna do a command line program, that it's gonna run perfect for these things. Uh, again, small form factor. Altoids can, stick it in, boom, you have everything you, you need. Uh, the power factor on these things, they take absolutely no power. I'm going to leave a sheet or a diagram below showing you that some guys, uh, I forgot what their name was, Jeff and... Anyway, I'm going to leave a link uh, in the description below and it's going to link them and it's going to show you the power um, that these guys take. It's it's almost non-existent. I think it was like if you take off the, if you turn off the HDMI, if you turn off the LED, it only takes like 0.3 milliamps or something like that. So it's like you could run a cell phone battery connected to this thing and probably run for a day or two, how little battery it takes. What I also like about this little guy is that they kept the TV port, the composite TV. So if you look over here, you're going to see uh, two pins that says TV. You could actually connect that to a composite, connect it directly to a TV and get that going also. The only thing, the only downside to this is the um, audio connector that they stripped out. You could actually do a makeshift audio connector using the GPIO pins that they have here. I haven't done any as of yet, but I know you could do that. So maybe I'll do a future video on it. 
Uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I did say I was going to do a giveaway, and what I'm going to be giving away is one of these little Raspberry Pi Zeros. Again, I managed to get a couple of these. That's why I'm doing it for you guys. Now, long-time viewers, I know you guys started with me from the beginning. Uh, I'm not trying to do this to gain subscriber counts or anything. I'm actually mainly doing this because I want to give back to you guys. I know you guys do a lot of Raspberry Pi projects. You enjoy watching these projects. So that's why I want to do this giveaway. And these are very hard to obtain right now. Um, you could check any site. Every Almost every site is sold out. So because I was able to get some, I'm going to give them out to you guys. Now, to enter the contest, what you have to do is um, hit up, hit me up on Twitter. Because that's, I think that's the easiest way. Hit me up on Twitter. I'm going to leave a link um, on the descriptions below. Uh, I also am going to have this video up that has a hashtag Pi Zero giveaway. All you have to do is hit reply to that. Give me, a, I guess, a short quick reason why you want one or need one or uh, maybe you just want one and I'm also doing this because I'm getting close to the 5,000 subscriber count so that's when I'm gonna actually announce the winners once I hit 5,000 ish subscribers I'm gonna do a quick video on who won this Raspberry Pi contest if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button. If you guys got any questions or if I missed something, leave it in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button. That helps me a lot. And remember, as I say in my nerd cave, act till it hurts.